Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Tuesday, November 18, 2008. This morning I thought I'd go through an XPath example as I was asked about that in email. So to get started, you go to the Parcel Manager, and when that opens, you go in here to Application Development, scroll down, select XPath, and load that. A couple of prerequisites later should come in. And then, just to give you an idea of what I'm going to do, I went to this page of XPath examples put together by the W3, and they have this little XML document which I copied down to my system. So I've got this books.xml, I think I called it bookstore.xml. And they have a couple of different XPath examples of things you can do. So for instance here, they use Internet Explorer based browsers, non Internet Explorer based browsers. I'm just going to do all this in code. But they have some code to go ahead and get the t titles from all the book nodes. So using this XPath expression, so they have these various examples you can try out in various browsers. Now I'm going to leave that aside and go over here to the Smalltalk code. And I've set up some examples here in code. So you have to create an XPath expression using the XPath parser. And then you set up an XML parser on the document, which is the one I downloaded. And then having done that, I get this context expression. And then I just get the sorted nodes and I'm just going to dump each of the XPath string datas out to the transcript. So let me clear the transcript and then we'll try this expression up here. This should get all the titles. So let's do a do it. And you see there I have it. Now let me just open up that file. Bookstore.xml to show you that I've got nothing up my sleeve. So there's the first one, there's the second one, there's the next one. So you see it's the same kind of data. So let's scroll down. We'll take another example. This gets you just the title of the first book. So here we have another XPath expression. Same exact code. So I'm going to go down, other than changing the expression, everything's the same. So let's do a do it on that. And you see it popped up just that. And now, just to see, see what we can do with getting other pieces of data, let's go ahead and get the prices out of that. So again, change the expression, all the other code is the same. So we'll highlight that. Do it, do it. And you see four price tags. So that's the basis of how to use XPath. You just have a little bit of code that you have to write. So you parse the XML document. You set up an XPath expression with the XPath parser, and then you just apply it in this kind of code here. And of course, you probably wouldn't dump it to transcript. You do something more useful with it, but you get the idea. Now, it turns out that you can shorten down this code a little bit. And you can do that with a little package that's sitting in the public store repository. I'm going to connect to the repository now. And then I'm going to go and get the published items. And I'm going to start typing XPath. And you see XPath convenience here. So I'm going to go ahead and load this. Now this is something Michael Lucas Smith did a while ago. I should caution you that this code is not supported. It adds a little bit of convenience, but it is unsupported code. So let's just see how you do this. Notice that this is a little simpler. You just set up the XPath parser, you get the XML parser, you parse the document. And then you just tell the document to XPath locate the expression. And then you can just dump out the data with the XPath string. So let's try that. Do it, do it, and you see the exact same stuff. So here, let me just open up, let's do a copy on this, and I'll go to a new page here, page new, and you see there's that code, and then let's scroll back over here to the top, and there's that code. So you see this is a little bit longer, and this is a little bit shorter. So that's basically all there is to using XPath expressions. This little screencast, I'm not going to go into depth on the syntax of XPath. I'm going to assume that you can take a web page like the one I used as an example right here. And going here, you can get various examples. And going to other sources, you can learn the XPath syntax. So assuming you can do that, you can go ahead and use the stuff in VisualWorks. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.